Many of Japan's modern technologies are based on adaptations that go back 300 years to the Edo period. In the 17th century, a European mechanical clock was brought as a gift to Japan. It would spark an unimagined innovation. During the Edo period, science and technology focused on the search for ri, the underlying principle of nature. When craftsmen got a look at the clock, they were so awed by its movements that they dismantled it to uncover the force that drove it. Springs and gears were concealed inside, lending the clock its wondrous magic. This was the beginning of Karakuri, a tradition of mechanical devices designed to take you by surprise. Their belief was that technology should be an extension of human actions, and so the ancients designed humanoid dolls and puppets. Based on the clock, their mechanism stores energy when it's wound up, which, when released, translates into motion. In the Karakuri tradition, the technology is concealed, so you don't know why a device does what it does. To the ancients, that was magic. In this case, the surprise is that the Chahakobi Ningyu, or tea-serving dolls mechanism, is triggered by a teacup designed to evoke a feeling of wonder and mystery during samurai tea ceremonies it was japan's first home entertainment robot today the karakuri doll might be nothing more than an expensive collector's item were it not for one modern engineer's reverence for the ancient technology the karakuri doll has a new home in the aishin aw company here it's been reinvented as a state-of-the-art energy-saving device. Mr. Shigeharu Ikeda, Aisin's chief engineer, explained to me why he'd become interested in the Karakuri doll. In this plant, heavy transmissions are moved from one assembly point to another on complex electric trolleys. For such a simple job, he thought there had to be a better way. Recalling a clever mechanism from the past, Mr. Ikeda copied the ancient wooden Karakuri doll using modern materials. Two properties of the Karakuri mechanism drew his attention. First, Mr. Ikeda realized the enormous energy that can be stored in a spring. Secondly, how weight can be used to release that energy to power a set of gears. Reconstructing the ancient mechanism inspired a nifty adaptation. This is the doll mechanism's new function. So now you're going to explain to me how this one works. Mm -hmm. To move his heavy transmissions, Mr. Ikeda built a Karakuri cart. The cart is driven by industrial springs and gears. The weight of the transmission forces down a drive gear and compresses the springs, in essence, storing energy. Yeah, okay. So the weight of it is actually, yeah. Four. The transmission slides onto the cart, releasing a catch that allows it to move. When the cart reaches the point of transfer, on impact, the momentum carries the weight onto the conveyor. The springs are released, turning the gears that move the cart back to its starting position. No external energy like electricity is needed. That's amazing. Adding a welcome side effect to the Karakuri doll mechanism by cutting energy costs significantly. So after 300 years, the spirit of the Karakuri doll lives on in this modern factory. If you think that's cool, wait till you see this. At the expo in Nagoya, Japan's vision of the future became apparent. The exhibition's theme centered on the spirit of nature and humanity in their relationship with modern machines. Robots will be a part of our world. Nowhere is Japan's ancient fascination with the Karakuri doll more obvious than here.
it's rather amazing, but they told me these robots really played this music. While the robots at the expo were fascinating, a glimpse of our future relationship with machines required a visit to an already legendary humanoid. Dr. Hiroshi Kobayashi built Saya, the receptionist. These are the words she knows. Yeah. Can we try them? Yeah. It took him 12 years to create her emotions. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Daigaku no koto. Watashi Saya nitsuite go annai dekimasu. Daigaku Saya, dochira ni shimasu ka? Genki? Genki yo? She's fun. Kora? Dou shita no? Baka. Baka ja nai wa yo. Sawarasete? Iya yo. Tataku yo. Bye bye. Bye bye. In the spirit of Karakuri, the robot's mechanism is hidden. But it was something straight out of a sci fi movie. Okay, actually, there are almost 20 points on the face. After processing by a computer, the spoken word triggers a sequence of mechanical actions. 19 compressed airlines with special constricting sleeves are attached behind the robot's face. Compressed air causes the sleeve to contract and elicit 12 facial expressions. Yeah, by pulling the... By pulling it? Yeah. Well, why do you go to such trouble to produce something that looks like a human being? Why not just have a box that, that talks? Yeah, because the real is very important for the communication between human and robot. Mm -hmm. That's why I concentrate on developing the very real robot. Okay. In a sense, you want to convince someone that they're mm -hmm. talking to a real human yeah. being. Well, you're well, well on the way. <laughs> if history is any indication, Saya's example shows just how far ancient technologies can go. Bye-bye.